my mother gave birth to 14 kids. Allahumma barak. But she had to bury seven. So I knew the struggles of all. My mother went about a few years before she passed away. I didn't know that I lost all of those siblings because my mother kept it away from me. I was too young. But I lost seven siblings. And subhanallah, one of the things that stands out to me a lot is that this connection that my mother had towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And through her mercy, she raised men. You see, one of the reasons why we're failing as parents, and I'm going to be honest, I'm going to speak for myself, I'm a failure as a parent myself. And also as a husband. But please do not cancel me, sisters, yeah? Don't go online and start making videos of me. I admit it. I'm not the best of husbands, nor am I the best of fathers, nor am I the best of servants to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the mercy that our mother showed towards us, it, it just goes to show what type of woman she was. You see, on a daily basis, she used to go out on the, you know, she used to go outside in the garden. And she used to pray in the garden regardless of the season, regardless if it's autumn, spring, winter, summer, you name it, it doesn't matter. My mother will pray inside the garden. Sometimes we will call her, mother, come in, come in. You're going to catch a cold. She goes, Abadan, ya amen. La, I'm going to remain here. I said, mom, you could pray inside. It's always, she goes, amen. I want to pray salat and tahajjud where there is no barriers between me and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a woman of our ummah. And this is a woman that our sisters should strive to go towards, inshallah. Because my mother was only striving towards to be one of the wives of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.